Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna build these three items right here, these Halloween decorations. These are quick, fast, in a hurry. You could do them. They're low cost, high profit if you wanna sell them. Or like I do, I build them for family and friends. So let's get started. We're starting with a two by 12 from the big box store. Came in at $20 just a couple days ago at the time of this video. Draw up your favorite ghost pattern. These ones are long and wide at the bottom. The ghosts vary from 14 inches tall to nine inches tall. And the widest point is 11 inches wide at the bottom. Right here, I'm just tracing the top and the bottom and then connecting the lines for the different sizes in the middle. If you're using a jigsaw to cut it out, just be mindful, you know, that inch and a half material likes to bend that blade if you don't go slow and steady. Just be mindful of that. I did switch over to the bandsaw just because I have one and it cuts it a lot nicer a lot cleaner and it's square this spindle sander works great for smoothing it out and squaring it up if you have an uneven cut like i did with the jigsaw all of the ghosts were high in the middle so i just worked it down until it wasn't wobbling anymore and it was nice and steady Right here, I just sanded it one time with the Hunter grit, and that was it. I'm using white flat paint, but you could use regular house paint or primer. Primer works great. These little painter cones work really good. I always paint the back side first, flip it over, and then paint the front side. So if you have a little indentation on the back side, no biggie. Let's start the cats. Any 2x4 will work. Just cut a V at the top of the cat gonna make some nice looking ears right there the bandsaw is definitely the smoother option here first sanding 100 grit on the cats let me know in the comments if you've ever used double-sided sandpaper this is a backside sandpaper I'm giving it a try the cats get flat black. Don't use enamel because you'll wait for enamel to dry all day. This dries in just a few minutes. Once the paint dries on the ghost, sand it down with 220 just to give it the worn look and break the edges a little bit. These are the faces that we came up with. We just used a piece of cardboard and cut them out with the razor blade. Taped it to the ghost here. I'm just dabbing the paint down, straight down, and holding it down with my left hand as firm as I can so it doesn't bleed out. All of this paint right here that we're putting on the ghost and the cat is just craft paint. So I'm giving a couple of the ghosts some rosy cheeks. I'm not the best at putting on makeup, but this is as good as it gets for me with the finger. Finger painting. 220 on the black paint as well, just to show some grain and give it that worn look. This is paint, but I've used stain and that works really well too. Totally different look. All right, let's give the cat some eyes. I'm using white paint here, but what colors are you gonna use? Are you gonna finish your cats exactly how I'm finishing them here? Or are you gonna do something different? I'd like to know, let me know how you finish your cats and what colors you use. You may have a little bleed out like I did. I just took a paintbrush and just touched it up a little bit. It's a decoration. I'm using some twine here to give these cats a little necklace, a little bow tie. My grandson just happened to be in the shop and it worked out perfect. He was my cameraman and my little finger holder. Multitasking, he did a great job. Thank you. Like this. Here, maybe make that a little smaller, maybe. Videotaping? Mm -hmm. Okay, gonna get people dizzy while they're watching. Let's start the witch hat. The witch hat is 11 inches tall and 11 inches wide at the bottom. I use maple ply for this witch hat, but normally I would use project board or just some solid material. But I was pleasantly surprised how the plywood turned out. The base for the witch hat is five and a half inches by 11 inches. And the U-band can gets used on many projects. You may have some voids in your plywood 
fill it in with some wood filler like I did, you're gonna paint it. It's gonna look great. Use a tiny drill bit. You're just gonna drill in about a half inch, just enough to put a wire in there. We're gonna use two pocket screws to hold the hat to the base. Finish it off with your favorite color or you could use flat black, which I'm using for the witch hat. I'm just roughing it up a little bit. I'm really just trying to break the edges and show the white and then scratch up the surface a little bit. A little glue, the two pocket screws. I'm just centering it here. It's about an inch and a quarter on each side. Get a piece of craft wire, wrap it around a pen or a pencil. This is gonna be your dangly string to hold your spider. A little super glue. I'm putting on the in the hole and I put some on the wire too. It worked better on it when I put it on the wire. And then spritz it with some uh, accelerator spray and tighten right up. This Dollar Tree spider, I put a hole in it. And just bent that little hook there and hooked it on and pinched it shut. There you go. It's kind of dangling and twisted around. You can get it just right. Decorate it with some ribbon. I used some hot glue gun to help me. An extra pair of hands would be really helpful right here. And just tie a bow in the front. I make them for friends and family, but they are low cost, high profit. All right. <clears throat> Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, if you enjoyed these builds right here, check out this big pumpkin build I have for you.